Welcome everyone. Maybe you're wondering why I'm remaking my last video. Because it's terrible. No, seriously. So, let's start from the beginning. I wanted to build a robot, but I don't have a 3D printer. So I thought, why would I buy a 3D printer and spend hours designing a custom frame for my car, when I have a fantastic LEGO Mindstorm kit collecting dust? Naturally, I did what everyone does, I googled some stuff. But with no luck, because many articles describe how to connect the Arduino to the LEGO Mindstorm brick over I2C, which then controlled the motor. Not what I was looking for. My idea is to use an Arduino as the main controller, powered by a 9V battery, because uh, the LEGO motors are rated for 9V. Three ultrasonic sensors for navigation, two motors, and a NRF 24L01 Plus for remote control or debug purpose, all without the need of the LEGO brick, which means that we have to get our hands dirty. But believe me, it's not as difficult as I thought. In fact, according to the EV3 hardware developer manual, which I found online, we can see that pin 1 and 2 are responsible for controlling the motor through PWM. 3 and 4 power the internal logic board, and 5 and 6 are connected to the internal rotary encoder, which track how many degrees the motor has turned. In this video I'm going to explain only how to drive the motors, so we need to use only the first two pins, but if you want to also to learn how to use the internal rotator encoder, leave me a comment and I will do another video. So, to drive the motor we can use the L293D, which can be found in many Arduino kits. Despite this IC can drive two motors, we must use one for each motor, because otherwise we exceed the rated max current of the L293D. Ok, so let's, let's start by placing it on the breadboard. Then we connect the enable 1 2 to pin 5 of the Arduino, input 1 to pin 4, input 2 to pin 3. Next we connect the white cable of the motor to output 1 and the black cable to output 2. And finally we power the IC connecting VCC1 to 5V, VCC2 to 9V, voltage in to 9V and the ground to ground. For the other motor we connect enable 1 2 to pin 9, input 1 to pin 8 and input 2 to pin 7. Now we can connect ultrasonic sensors and NRF 24L01+. But keep in mind that the Arduino Uno doesn't have enough pins for everything, that's why I will use an Arduino Mega for this project. And if you want, you can even custom made your Arduino like I did. Now we can build our robot with Legos, there isn't a right or wrong way, so be creative. Once we have everything set up, we can connect the Arduino to the computer and start coding. But first we must understand one thing. Each motor is controlled by three pins, enable is pin 5 for motor 1 and is 9 for motor 2, output 1 is pin 4 for motor 1 and 8 for motor 2, and output 2 is pin 3 for motor 1 and pin 7 for motor 2. The enable pin sets the speed with PWM and stop the motor if set to low. Output 1 and 2 must be set one the opposite of the other, and they control the direction of the rotation. For example, if output 1 is set to high, output 2 must be set to low, for the motor to spin forward. And if we set output 1 to low and output 2 to high, the motor will spin backwards. So, let's open the Arduino IDE. I'm using the version 2.0, but you can use any version you want. The code is very simple and it doesn't require any external library. We start by defining motor pins and initializing serial and motor pins. Then we can create a void function called lMotorSet with an int parameter speed, which must range from minus 100 to 100. Now we can set the motor speed by writing analog right bracket enable left enl and int absolute speed times 
if the speed is greater than zero, the motor has to spin forward. So we set the left output 1 to high and the output 2 to low, otherwise it has to spin backwards. So the left output 1 must be low and the output 2 must be high. After doing so, we can make the same function for the right motor. And finally, we can write a function for going straight, one for turning left, one for turning right, and one to stop the robot. Define your movement that your robot has to follow in your loop function, upload your code, and here you go. Now you know how to control the LEGO Mindstorm motors using only the Arduino. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye!